Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Don't Feed Noob. This is episode number three. My name is Mac10, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use your hotkeys correctly in Dota 2. Or rather, I'm going to show you how I use my hotkeys and how I should use my hotkeys, and what are some ideas for some extremely good hotkey setups, because everyone's hotkey setup will be slightly different, sort of like in StarCraft 2. So without further ado, let's take a look at my keyboard. Okay guys, this is my keyboard. So, let's say, let me switch hands really quickly. Okay, so let's say this is my A key. This is what I have to press to attack move. This is Q, W, E, R. These are my standard scale buttons. And these are numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. So, naturally, I want to have my courier on a hotkey, and I want to have my hero on a hotkey. The hero, by default, comes up at F1. However, if we hit Control 1 while selecting our hero, we can rebind that hero to number 1. This will allow us to select the hero by pressing 1, which saves us this space. It saves us this movement up and down, which is very convenient because it's right next to the Q, where we often already all are, because generally speaking, Q is a spammable ability. Um, you also want to have your courier bound. Now, since I played Warcraft 3 and Starcraft 2, I have this terrible habit of going Control to select my courier. However, you can set your courier to tab in your configuration your configuration menu and that is actually more efficient because then your two is open for when you play heroes like a uh, like a Chen or an Enchantress that often controls a creep. So then you can individually micromanage your units that way. So it's a uh, my setting my setup is pretty good over here. When I use the Brewmaster, I actually just use the mouse and select each spirit one at a time. The most important thing for me to remember, though, is with the Brewmaster, Q on the Earth Spirit controls his rock throw thing, or rock toss, whatever it's called. And that is his stun. So the Q is the most important button for me to use, and I use it after I select the Earth Spirit. So I can use the Water Spirit, but really... I'm mostly concerned with selecting the Brewmaster and then immediately going for the uh, using Split and then hitting the Earth Spirit and using the Q because that's the stun and then my three other spirits usually will do enough damage to kill the uh, kill whatever I'm trying to kill or escape if that's the case. So then Tab is a great key to have the Courier set to and then you have one, two, three, four for your various control groups um, they have options to automatically set your hero to, or rather your game, to select any units that come under your control. So if you're the Broodmother, it automatically adds any spider links that you create with your uh, spider spit thing right here. So it's really useful. It's actually difficult to use correctly when uh, split pushing, though. So if you're jungling with the spiders or pushing with the spiderlings and you have your hero elsewhere, it actually makes things a little more difficult. So... If you're pretty new to the game, I would recommend going into your configuration and turning on auto select to automatically select all of the summoned units. And if you're looking to do more advanced techniques with heroes that have summonable things, then um, I would recommend just setting the control groups individually, such as one for uh, the hero Broodmother, two for the Broodmother Spider Links, which you have to box and individually select, there's no fast way around that, and then three for all of them together. So then you have one for the hero, two for the spiderlings, or two for uh, Chen's little pets, and three for all of your units. So you can also change these on the fly by hitting control. If I hit control one while I have another group of monsters selected, it, it creates another, con it just replaces the control group with whatever I'm most recently setting it to. The first thing I do in any game is set my control group one to whatever hero I'm playing. And if there are no summonable units, which are most of the heroes I play, except for Broodmother, I set the courier to number two, even though setting the courier to tab, which you can actually set permanently to tab in your controls, is um, it's much more efficient. So then we, then we go to the problem area. Sorry, I'm switching hands. We go to the problem area. Now the problem area down here is where I have my hand and my mouse and this. See, my items are something that I need to use well in order to play at the highest level, especially my BKB, my face boots, all that shit. Your first slot is initially bound here, 
and here and here and here and here and here. These are your items. These are your items. This is how they get set up by default. So I'm moving down the map, click, 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 click. Now I'm at a conundrum. Now I'm at a problem. Because I can either move this hand all the way over here to press 7, so I have to move that entire length of my keyboard, or I have to take my hand off of the mouse to press 7. Now to take my hand off of my mouse while I'm playing a game of Dota is like taking both hands off of my driver off of my steering wheel while I'm driving in order to text someone while I'm pressing down on the gas. It's something you never want to do. You don't want to take your hand off your mouse ever while you're in the middle of a game of Dota. However, I have been guilty of it and I use this numpad setup for a very long time. Mostly because the only items I use are phase boots and the BKB. However, what I've set mine to and what is a much more efficient setup is to have Z, X, and C be your top three items. I guess you could set these three to your next three, but I just set these to my top three items and have all of my usable items up here because I really only will, usually I only have three items that I will want to use on a regular basis throughout the game. If it's a tango, I will click the icon of it and just use it like that. Same goes for south. But if it's phase boots, phase boots for me, always Z. And then BKB, always X. And then anything else, whatever my third usable item is, will be a C. Like a soul ring is usually a C. So, generally speaking, there's only those three. Um, I'm still kind of brainstorming what I could do with the other three. Uh, but most likely the default, I would say, would be right here. Because even if you have to go all the way down here, as long as you can feel the nub on the F and know about where your finger is on the keyboard as you pass by it, then it's still not that big of a trip. Versus to go all the way down here is a massive fucking journey. You can also use your num keys or your, uh, your top number keys to set up items, but I don't know if I like that because I like using the old-fashioned Warcraft 3, Starcraft 2 control scheme. So, if you never played Starcraft, if you never played Warcraft, um, then it's possible for you to set your hotkeys to one being your first item, two your second item, three your third item, or do that and then set your next three, your bottom three to these keys. Now it is kind of awkward to go from Q to Z because you have to skip over the A and the A is a key you often use. However, it is still, it's, it's something I have to discipline myself to do and I would recommend you do the same so that you can avoid this trip, this this like this this journey of a thousand miles from A to seven from Q to seven. Okay, let's let's pretend I am the uh, let's pretend I am a Sand King who wants to get his ultimate off. So I blink in, and so I go over here, hit seven to blink in, hit I, I hit seven to blink in, I hit eight to hit my BKB. And then I have to move my hand. I have to, I have to, like look, like look, like whoa. I have to go all the way down there. Press the R key to start channeling my ultimate. Now this it is, the items by default are extremely bad in the way that they are bound. It's ex they are, the bindings for items are initially very bad. But like I said, I'm going to I'm going to teach myself to use Z, X, and C as my three top, top side item icons. And then for uh, the next three, I would recommend using one, two, and three unless you already use those like I do. But for me it's not a big deal because usually the usable items I have are one-time items like wards, etc. Wards, early game, I guess they usually will take on the X or the C. And if they don't, then it's fine for me to click and set up a ward. It's fine for me to click and set up a tango. I don't mind using the mouse to do that entirely as long as I don't have to take my hand off of the mouse. Hey guys, really quickly before I ended this video, I wanted to go over the um, the in-game menu and just to show you where you can set all your hotkeys and to tell you about that auto-select summoned units uh, little feature that the controls have. So you go to your little cog thing up here which brings up your options. Make sure controls are selected and then attack move A, M, S, H. These are kind of standard, I assume you know what these do. Select Hero F1. I don't know why, but I will not set Select Hero to 1. I don't know why this is. Maybe it's... I don't know. It, just, it feels bad to me from my Warcraft 3 and my uh, Starcraft 2 experience. I like to... 
always manually set it to control one so that maybe if my hero's dead and I'm controlling summoned units, I can just hit uh, control one and bind all my summoned units to tab one and then fight with them. And I know it sounds ridiculous, it has no utilitarian purpose, but it's something that I like doing because I played... It's a habit I won't break for the simple fact that I still play StarCraft occasionally, and I played StarCraft 2 and WarCraft 3 for years and years and years. Um, but Select Hero, for a lot of people, I would say just go ahead and put it on 1. Because, um, I mean, that's what I have mine bound to. I set it to Control Group 1. It's much more efficient. It's closer to your hand. I've been over this. Um, select Courier, Tab. I went over this a little bit, but just any time in the game, if I press Tab, I will select my Courier. Any time in the game, if I select Tab, if I press Tab, I will select my Courier. It's very, very handy to have. And then, if I go into the Courier... All I have to know is select my courier, return to base Q, or transfer items FR. So most of the time I hit tab, I take a look at my shop, I buy my items, which I don't use with hotkeys because I'm not that good, but I open up the shop window, I select my courier with tab, open up the shop window while my hero's still in lane, and buy a couple of items, then hit F to send the courier to me, and then hit R, granted it's a flying courier, to give the speed boost so it gets to me quicker. So, that's pretty much it. These are the control groups I was telling you about. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I keep those standard. And then uh, items. So right now my items are Z, X, and C. And you can see KP, I think, is uh, some kind of abbreviation for the numpad. 4, 5, and 6 are your lower three items. And 7, 8, 9 on the numpad are your top three items. Like I said, I changed this to Z, X, C. It's going to take me a long time to get used to it, but it's much more efficient because it's a lot less ground that my fingers have to cross in order to activate my items. And specifically the phase boots I use all game long. I just spam my phase boots. I just use them all the time. BKB, I, I, it's not used very often, but when it is used, it's extremely important that it's used at the right time. Uh, player... These are... Uh, Glyph, I do not have my Glyph bound because having my Glyph bound to me is sort of like having Alt-Tab enabled or the Windows key enabled. I like having the Glyph not bound to a key because I don't accidentally want to burn the Glyph because, I mean, that, that's, there's nothing worse than just accidentally burning your Glyph. I mean, it's, it's something that I will tell you I will use it a lot of times when I didn't necessarily have to and it only saved a few hundred hit points on a tower early game but I would still I use it on purpose and it did had some purpose it's better than just blindly accidentally activating your glyph that is very bad and then for the metagame only pause is the one that you'll want to know F9 that way if somebody's calling you in the phone or you want to unpause just generally I don't know if there's a way to actually press a button to unpause, so it's good to know that the pause hotkey is F9. That's just all, always what I've used. I've never clicked anything to unpause. If there is an unpause button, I just always use F9. And then spectator, I'm not really going to go into details on this because if you're spectating, unless you're casting, which I imagine most people aren't who are watching this, you can just use the you can just click on the icons you have to rather than using hotkeys. And then this, in the game tab, auto attack off, you want that off, trust me, you want that off. Um, auto purchase items I keep off, and then auto select summon units, I keep, uh, I keep that on, even though it gets in my way sometimes. And like I said, if you're pretty new, um, if you're just trying to do the basics, if you're not trying to do anything too complex, auto select summon units you want on. If you do a lot of different things, like you uh, do a lot of split pushing with heroes like the Broodmother and the Tramp Protector, or you uh, you really you box a lot like I do, or you uh, you're trying to do different things with Chen, and you're trying to mm, you're, you're trying to micro you have something going on that's really micro intensive constantly, and you're most importantly switching up those controlled units a lot. You probably want this setting off. However, if you're the Broodmaster, you absolutely want it on at all times. And this is because when you use Storm Spirit, you will then automatically have under your control all three aspects of the storm or uh, of, of the primal split and uh, that way you can immediately click your earth spirit from your bottom tab from your toolbar you can select the earth spirit and you can use his rock throw as a stun immediately so you can immediately click the earth spirit chuck use Q and chuck the stun at somebody so then your interface this all comes down to personal preference in my opinion I don't really I don't use anything really special there I don't I don't have anything that I swear by there 
But um, that's it. So thanks again for watching. I hope to be putting out a video later this week, uh, hopefully sooner rather than later, about y communication in Dota 2, abbreviations, uh, when to call missing, and uh, other things like that. So generally, uh, just a video on general communication I want to put out later this week. Also, I'm going to be streaming today, I'm going to be streaming tomorrow, and I'm probably going to be streaming on Monday. Um, hopefully, I will try to do it in hours that do not conflict with the international. You can find my stream at www.twitch.tv slash macx10. The link to my stream is in the videos inf in, in this video's information. You can also click a little subscribe button that will send you an email whenever my stream goes live um, on my Twitch page. So, yeah. I think that's everything. Thank you again for watching. Feel free to leave me all your questions, comments, complaints, concerns, and general feedback in this video's information via a YouTube direct message, via tweeting at me at MacX10, or any of the other various methods of contacting me I have listed below. So thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.